At noon, Charlotte's chief of police speaking today about the investigation into the shooting of Keith Scott. The chief outlined what he saw when reviewing several videos of the incident. The video does not give me absolute definitive um, visual evidence that um, that would confirm that a person is pointing a gun. I did not see that in the videos that I've reviewed. So uh, what I can tell you, though, is when taken in the totality of all the other evidence, it supports what we've heard and the version of the truth that we gave about the circumstances that happened that led to the death of Mr. Scott. And that's Chief Putney you heard from there, as well as Charlotte's mayor, who was behind him. They both spoke extensively this morning on the shooting and last night's protest. CBS North Carolina's Robert Richardson was there and joins us live now from Charlotte. Robert, you've been covering this for two days now. Bring us up to speed. And mayor Roberts talked about a city that she loves and says that Charlotte has a tradition of collaboration and peace. And she says right now, city leaders are collaborating with community leaders to try and find peace after yet another night of violence. Violence in the city. Police arrested 44 protesters overnight for charges ranging from breaking and entering to loot, looting, failing to disperse, assault. There was looting at even the Charlotte Hornets Arena shop. And Chief Kerr says there are hundreds of cameras around the city and they are reviewing video to identify more suspects. And Chief Kerr Putney says more arrests are coming. Um, as I said yesterday, there's your truth, my truth, and the truth. People, some people have already made up their minds what happened. Um, we've given multiple facts, and there will be an update later this afternoon about more additional information we're getting. Um, but that still doesn't change the mindset and the perspective of some who want to uh, break the law and uh, tear down our city. And he says that one person remains on life support after being shot last night. And investigators say that that civilian who was shot was shot by another civilian, not by police. Five officers received medical attention last night, according to Chief Putney. Two suffered eye injuries and three were treated for heat-related injuries. Now, the president of North Carolina's NAACP met this morning with Keith Scott's family, as well as community leaders and elected officials. And the NAACP of North Carolina will release the findings of its preliminary investigation this afternoon at 1. Reporting live at the Charlotte Mecklenburg Government Center, Robert Richardson, CBS North Carolina. Staying on top of the story for us, Robert, thanks so much. The American Civil Liberties Union of North Carolina is calling on police to release any body or dash cam video they have of the shooting. Charlotte police say the officer who killed Scott was not wearing a camera at the time. Other officers and nearby dash cams may have caught the incident though. The ACLU says the timing's really important because a new state law takes effect on October 1st. Under this new law, they will need to seek a court order, but that law is not in effect. So under current law, Charlotte could release this footage and they should. The ACLU says releasing the footage may help reveal more details about exactly what happened and also ease tension. The chief said today that he would not release the video anytime soon. The Carolina Panthers responded to the ongoing events in Charlotte ahead of Sunday's game, saying the team is working with officials and monitoring the situation. There's no word yet on whether the team will take any additional security measures this weekend. Some community leaders called for a boycott of the team yesterday. And